Hey guys, look Bug here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today you guys are going to be reacting and reviewing my viewers squads. We've got six squads in this video, we're going to take a look at five of them being sent in by viewers and then one person's also sent like his brother squad as well. So we're going to take a look at all six of them, give my opinions, what I think of, uh, you know, good to the team, areas that they can improve and we might turn this into like a series that like takes place like every single month or something like that. I think that would be pretty awesome. Now where uh, two of the squads in this video have been taken from the companion app and like four of them have been taken from the console. In the future, when I do more of these videos, I ideally want the videos, as you can see, like for this first uh, one, that, uh, for the first squad we got up at the moment. It, it's better if the picture is taken from the console because it fills out more of the screen. And uh, for this first video, it doesn't matter because it's a bit of like a pilot experiment video to see whether you guys enjoy it, to see whether it gets like enough views to make it myself worthwhile actually doing. You can also, guys, though, you know, if I don't turn this into a series, you know, feel free to always go on, go and message me on Instagram um, or on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter name is the exact same uh, name as my YouTube channel, and my Instagram name is JordanX1998X. Go and always send me a message and like say, hey man, you know, where should I improve my team? What do you think of my team? Uh, I'll always respond to them, but hopefully I can actually turn this into a series now and you guys will hopefully enjoy it. So uh, yes, we've got Mark's team here on the screen right now and he says that he's got 140,000 coins to improve his defense and that also he subs off Gabriel Jesus for Suarez Player of the Month. And I look at this team and I think, well, you know, subbing on that Suarez Player of the Month, it, it, it makes his attack insane. It makes his midfield already as it is amazing. You know, Storyline Anderson's great. Paul Pogba's still fantastic at the stage of FIFA. Daniel James's new card as well looks amazing. The two headlines with Madison and Vardy are very good and are also likely to receive potential more upgrades uh, between now and the end of the season. And of course, Suarez player of the month. You know, I, listen, anyone that uses Suarez, although I don't think, in my personal opinion, he's like the best player in the game this year, or I thought his gold card was disappointing to use, he's still my favorite player of all time. So, Mark, I'm very happy that you're using Suarez. Use him forever because I just love people that use Suarez because Suarez is amazing and I just love the guy so much. Uh, I'll have to wait until I'm about 30 before he gets his icon cards, but um, I'd... Oh my god, just imagine a Suarez icon card at Liverpool. Oh my god, that'd be great. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Uh, his team name is Sons of a Pitch, uh, which I really like. Of course, we know what he's trying to say, um, which would be uh, very inappropriate if he decided to use um, the other phrase as a, as, a, as a team name, Mark. That would uh, that would not be on. But uh, yeah, he's got 140,000 coins to improve the defense. And... Um, it does need improving, you know, I, I won't lie, I'm not going to like sit here and just lie to people, it does need improving, and I'm sure Mark knows that himself. Uh, for me, there's two uh, two players in the defense that don't need to be improved, that need, uh, long lay is fine, you, you've got a shot at Kempstall onto him, that's fine for this current stage of the game, I don't have a problem with that. Neto, that's fine, I, I've said so many times this FIFA, 84 rated goalkeepers or 85 rated goalkeepers, you know, Every goalkeeper in FIFA is inconsistent. Sometimes they have an amazing game and sometimes they have shocking games. And an 85 Neto with the basic camera style is just as good as prime icon moments levy action. That's the way I see goalkeepers this game, this FIFA. It, it doesn't really matter what goalkeepers you got. You know, I've, I've even saw my team of the year, Allison, now because uh, I, I got to a point where I'd rather have some like a prime icon moment and Crespo on my team. And just put in like the uh, De La Liga player of the month, Courtois, who was easy to go for. And, and to be honest, the, uh, I, that, that's actually an interesting one. I mean, Mark, if you want like a little bit more, you know, because gold cards, in my opinion, you know, th you know they're a bit boring. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and if you're sitting there, you've got 140k, you can probably get, if you're sensible with your coins and you take your time. Uh, and of course, you know, we've got rewards coming on Thursday as well. If you grind the game a little bit as well, if you've got the time to, you might be able to go and sit there and do that uh, Courtois player of the month card maybe this Thursday or whatever. He's about 50,000 coins or something like that. You get a couple packs, I think, in return as well. Maybe, I can't remember how many segments there are. I don't know if it's one or two segments. So it was SBC. But um, I mean, you, you, you know, you can stick with that net. It's not the end of the world. But if, if you're fancying like a cool looking La Liga card, you can go with Courtois uh, if you wanted to. But um, yeah, for me, like, the, the main areas that you need to focus on your coins and improving are going to be Junior Firpo, Eda Militao, and Audrey Zola. I think it'd be really, really good if you get yourself a Jordi Albert left back. I think in right back, maybe a Carver Howell. But apart from that, maybe like a um, a headliner Kappa would be pretty cool. I don't know what he goes for on the market. If you could afford enough, and that would be pretty decent. Uh, and then for centre back, we're talking something like maybe like a you know a Gold Ramos or a um, an Umtiti. Well, no, actually not Umtiti because I think Umtiti lacks in height. Maybe like a Varane or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. I think yeah, actually Varane. I I I'd buy Varane in replace of Eda Militao. I'd buy Jordi Alba in replace of Firpo. 
If Kappa is reasonable value, then also buy him. If not, Carvajal. And in goal, either just stick with Neto, or if you've got spare coins left over, you maybe go for Courtois just to because he looks cool and he's got like a dynamic image and stuff. But on the whole, it's a good team, Mark. I really appreciate you sending that in, and hopefully, um, I've helped you out basically with uh, with um, we're trying to help uh, like build your defensive and stuff. But anyway, let's get into the second team, which is going to be Vinny's team. Uh, he's got six hundred thousand coins to improve. He says that uh, why now? Um, Bernardo Silva, Paul Scholes, and Rio Ferdinand are all untradeable. And this is an interesting one because I'm looking at your bench right now and I'm, I'm looking at that Josh King, Vinny. I'm looking at that Josh King and I'm thinking, why aren't you playing him? Why are you not playing him? Unless you're the ultimate Harry Kane fan, which I find hard to believe because I don't think there's any ultimate fans of Harry Kane. But, I mean, listen, if you are, then continue to use him. But if not, and he's not, you know, I'd be getting rid of Harry Kane. I'd have him right out the team, to be honest, and I'd be putting Josh King in there. For me, Josh King, although he's 84 rated and he's like 9 ratings lower than Harry Kane, I personally think his stats are better suited to being a more um, meta player as a striker in FIFA than what Harry Kane would be. And, you know, you have got a Hunter Kemp to Harry Kane, but um, I... Uh, you know, if this was me, I, I, I'd be selling Harry Kane and having... Um, and having Joshua King in the team. That's my personal opinion. In terms of upgrading the squad further, I mean, your team's fantastic. You, you, your whole defense line is amazing. You know, um, De Gea and goals, brilliant. So that, you know, that scream out to Mendy Cod's got some amazing stats. Obviously, having two team of the year fullbacks is great. I, I know from experience that uh, the Trent Arnold is also an absolute beast in this game. I look at Rio Ferdinand, and that's amazing as well because you got the uh, the um, the shadow cancel on so much, basically makes him good, you know, just as good as his prime card. Can say great for this stage of the game. Uh, Sadio Mane, I know from experience as well, an amazing card. Bernardo Silva always seems to score against me. Wijnaldum's good as well, but weirdly, I think one of the you know, having if you're happy with Harry Kane, then yeah, don't change that. But weirdly, although he's untradeable, and it's like it's always a bit annoying to have like icons on your bench. You know, for example, I can see you got like a Vieri on your bench there as well. But I think if we're talking about taking your team to the next level, it might have to be getting rid of poor skulls. And you see that they've got six hundred thousand coins. Um, maybe like an icon Balak would be really cool. Like an like a mid tier icon Balak. I mean, you know what? I'll come over if you can somehow uh, get the coins together. Get prime icon moments, Marcel Desai. Um, if you can like try and I think Marcel Desai is like what two million coins or something. Uh, if you can try and get like that amount of coins, like, you know, I'd say that would be an awesome long term buy for your team. That CDM prime icon moments, Marcel Desai, Marcel Desai is going to be insane. If you can get the prime icon moment turn on Crespo, that would be great as well. Um, but if we're talking about like realistic with 600,000 coins, what to go for right now, I'm thinking someone like a Balak maybe in replace of Skulls. Because, I mean, I don't think Skulls is necessarily bad, but he's not like... When we're talking about the rest of the team, I'd say he, him and Kane actually are probably the weakest parts to the team, if you want my honest opinion. I think it's a great team all around, and it doesn't need to change like right away. But if you're talking about taking your team to the next level, it needs to be upgrading Paul Scholes. It needs to be upgrading or or, or or changing out Harry Kane in my opinion but on the whole Vinny it, it, you know it's a really really good team especially with you know your two wingers um your all around defense is amazing it, it is a fantastic team on the whole it doesn't need like urgent change so don't like rush into like spending your coins and stuff like that but um yeah on the whole I think you know if you're looking at maybe the next player to change out it will be Paul Scholes in my personal opinion but uh let's get in to the next team and this is from Gwilla Murno I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right man I'm sorry, but uh, this is an interesting team. Uh, he's got the 80-year rated Future Stars. Oh, he's got the Icone cards, which is great because he's an awesome player. I like the way he's picked him up. He's got Barella's SPC card. He's got Politano. Um, weirdly, still at Inter Milan, which I don't get. Um, I'm guessing it's when you upgrade him to an 89, and then, and then he gets the Napoli version, I'm guessing. He's got Kalu as well, which is good. Um, Aura, I've used myself as an awesome player. Uh, Lala Inform, Sancho, not Sancho, Sandro, um, he, is that Jesus in, in the defense? I can't remember, like, is it not, not Gabriel Jesus, I can't remember his name, it might, it might be called something, Juan Jesus, I think it's called, uh, it's, he's called, and we've got Kerhe, if that's even how you pronounce him, the, uh, PSG centre-back, that's great, and also to stake an end goal, and you have stated that he's going to be getting, um, Van der Sar from Icon Tops, and actually, if Marcus still watched this video, I just remembered, try and see if you can get some, like, a Fernando Hero from Icon Tops, or, like, a Bobby Moore for Icon Tops in replace of, um, 
and replace it by the Militao. That would be great for your team. Or if there's maybe like a fallback that's available, uh, Mark, try and get a, a fallback if, if you can actually unlock one. I don't know if there's any fallbacks that you can unlock from this current set of uh, from my consoles. And I think the same for Vinny as well. Um, try and see if you can get... What, like, uh, if I go back to Vinny's team... I mean, maybe Socrates in replace of... In place of Paul Skulls, if you still got the tokens, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe something like that. But yeah, getting back to Gulamino's team, and I think what would be really good here, if I'm looking at it, right, he's also said something, okay, so he says that he's going to sell to Stegen, and um, he's going to get Van der Sar from Icon Swaps. Okay, all right. Um, I understand that. I've heard that the 89 Van der Sar is apparently one of the best, if not the best, goalkeeper in the game, according to some people. Uh, he's also got Tomiyasu on the bench. He's got uh, Ziek as well, the 90 rated cards. Um, Depay, De Gea. If De Gea is tradable, sell him right now, I'd say. You, you know, get yourself, like, about 60,000 coins in the bank. Um, Smong's obviously a good card to have as well. I mean, I'm looking really at the rest of the team, and I'm thinking... I mean, probably left-back, maybe, in Sandra, to be quite honest. I think that, you know... Trying to maybe see, I don't know if he's got like a higher rated version of Alexandra, like an inform or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think of other awesome, you know what, I don't know how much coins you've actually got. I can't remember if you said how many coins that you've got. If you can try and maybe even get yourself like a Roberto Carlos at left back, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, maybe like an, uh, one of the uh, Zanetti cards, I think Zanetti got like a left back card as well. I think that'd be really good if you could be able to try and pick him up. I think your next improvement for this team needs to probably be Alexandro, uh, uh, in all honesty. But I think the rest of your team is very, very good for this HFE if they got a lot of really Really, really good workable players. I think obviously getting from icon swaps as well. Van der Sar would be uh, would be very decent to obviously have as well. But on the whole, again, really awesome, cool, nice looking team. Um, and yeah, just get you know Sandro out, get like a special card in there, even if it's like a baby icon, uh, Zanetti or like a Roberto Carlos. You know, make the whole team a special cards team. I think that would be that would be really cool. But uh, thanks for sending that in, man. Really appreciate it. And now we're in to. Uh, I apologize for like the uh, the quality on this one. I think I've downloaded it in like a a low quality format or something. I don't know why I've done that. But uh, this is Samano. I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. And his brother as well. So the first team is is Samano. I'm I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, f I feel like I'm not pronouncing that name right at all. That's how I've written it down as it might be something completely different on Instagram. And if it is, I'm, I'm, I really am sorry. But this is going to be interesting because I'm sure his brother hopes he's got a better team. So I might have to try and compare and say which which guy's got the better team between the two of them. But um, Werner Player of the Month, fantastic. You know, you obviously would have done the best. You know, you, you would have done the SBC and then he would have got the upgrade, um, which is nice. You've got that 83 rated Jal Victor. That's good. Rusalon's footmas card also uh, just like Mark, he's gone with um, he's gone with Longlet centre back. He's got Scream Pika, that's great. Right card he's took from Icon Swaps, but surely there's you know he was only five tokens. So what I'm thinking here is I'm looking at Goretzka and I'm looking at Wan Bissaka. Now I don't think there's a right back from this uh, particular Icon Swaps to be able to upgrade, but yeah, you have gotta get Daniel James and chemistry, haven't you? And there's no good Welsh right back. Goretzka, uh, I'm trying to see like how you're working. Well, I mean, Havertz is great as a cam. That's fantastic. Ruslan, perfect for a left back. Werner is great. You don't need to change him until team of the season. Uh, Jao Victor, very good card. You know that. You know that screen PK. To Stegen's fine to have. Uh, you bench here. You got Bernat, Schweinsteiger, Kyle Walker. You know what? Get Kyle Walker on the team. The reason why. I, okay, so Kyle Walker would get with an English manager. He get eight chemistry after playing ten games, and Daniel James with an English Premier League manager should also get eight chemistry after playing uh, the ten games. That would be better, in my opinion. You know, for Helena, um, Kyle Walker it, it is a fantastic card. His stats are amazing. It, it's a waste having him on the bench. For me, you're better off. Although maybe yes, Walker and and Daniel James wouldn't be on full chemistry. It would be much more beneficial having those two on eight chem than having you know James and ten chem and Wan Bissaka on ten chem because Walker's just much a, a much better player than Wan Bissaka. So that's something that you need to do, or at least I would do in my opinion. Or maybe even you know you got a Raheem Sterling there as well. That's out of contract. I don't know if he's a loan card or not. You know, is Raheem Sterling arguably Raheem Sterling's maybe still just as good as Daniel James? I think maybe your team might be even better if you just have Daniel James as a super sub and instead start Sterling and Walker and they'd be on full chemistry. Then I think that'd be better in my opinion. 
Uh, and then in terms of like you know the rest of your team, you got uh, Goretzka there. I think that could be upgraded. Maybe you know, have you got enough tokens to get like a prime icon? The cat. Have you got enough tokens to get like a prime icon? Uh, not a prime icon to get a baby uh, version of uh, what's his name, uh, Socrates or something like that. Um, but on the whole, again, it's a great team. But yeah, down that right-hand side, if I was you personally, I'd be starting Sterling. I'd be starting um, Kyle Walker and have Daniel James on the bench as a super sub. I think that'd be much, much better in my personal opinion. But anyway, very nice team. And then this is his brother's team. Um, okay, so clearly both of them have... Apart from Ryan Kent, both of them have very different uh, philosophies of how to play FIFA. Is that the right word, philosophies? I can't remember, but he uh, he didn't like the sound of Frank Rijkaard to take from Icon Swaps because he has gone with um, Raul's uh, Icon card as well. He goes for a 4-2-4 formation. Uh, he's only got, well actually, they, they, they both got Ruslan, but uh, his brother's only got the 82 Ruslan. Konate is brilliant. They got um, Spurs in the Champions League. I think Leipzig will go through with that. And if they do qualify for the quarterfinals, he'll go from an 84 to an 86. And that'd be brilliant. All black, great and goal. Uh, uh, they've actually both got long there as well. So that's, uh, you know, that's good. Uh, I don't know how much his brother's got. I know that Samano actually didn't have any coins to improve his team. Um, but there was obviously areas where I said that he could, like, you know, put in, like, Sterling and, 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 uh, and Kyle Walker and stuff. I don't know what his brother's got in terms of being able to make improvements. He's got Sissoko there. I think, personally, uh, if you've got any icon swap tokens left, do what your brother did and also get Frank Rijkaard to have, uh, a, basically a better defensive midfielder than Sissoko. Uh, I know that means that the chemistry on Martial wouldn't be great. Um, your two strikers are amazing. They don't need to change. Navas doesn't need to change. So, those, you know, those are brilliant. Martial... So you can go maybe with, uh, you know what I'd say, try if you can get those five tokens, which you should you should have five tokens left. So, so get Frank Rijkaard in midfield, left wing get um, Promes, maybe he's in form or something like that if you can afford it, if not just a 82 card for now. Left back, it, it, it's trying to get the chemistry, isn't it? No, if you went with Rijkaard, Promes, Promes would get, hmm... Promise would only get like seven chemistry, wouldn't he? But Ruslan would still get the eight cam. Uh, would still get the four cam because of the strong link to Konate and then the link to to right cards. But you know, we, you know, you, you kind of get like an idea what I'm going for. That I, I would definitely say to try and get something like a right card there, right back. You know, start to work. Your, I mean, Tomato's decent, but you know, start planning for to try and get his um to get his his headliner card. You know, long term. I think that would be good. In terms of your bench, you've got Mbabu, uh, Corona. Um, Kante, man, whoa, 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 what's going on here, get Kante in the team right now, forget about what I said about uh, Raikou, get Kante in the team right now, I don't know what's going on there, but he needs to go in, and I think if you get Kante in the team, you're pretty much set to be, you know what, get Kante in the team, and if you've got tokens left, get Prime Icon Perez. Uh, and your settled team of the season. So uh, thank you very much, man, for sending in that team. And then we're finishing off with Kellen. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, this is a guy that's been watching my videos for quite a while now on, on YouTube. I think he's one of like, my longest viewers who's uh, stayed active for quite a while. And uh, and this is his team. He's got 78,000 coins. I don't get what his team name is. You know, well, well, Kellen, what's going on? You know, Not five? What's... Very strange. Uh, and he says he's uh, willing to sell Son and Mane to get a better icon. And I think he was also saying that the Guardiola he has got, I think, is tradable. Or it might have, I think, or he either did the mid icon pack from uh, from icon swaps and he got Guardiola out of that, maybe. I can't remember what he said. But he definitely said that he was prepared to sell Son and Mane. So this is an interesting team. So he's going for 4 triple two formation. I'm liking a lot, well, everyone, you know what, genuinely half the teams that I've done for this video seem to have, this is actually a really long video, but a lot of people seem to be going with Longley, Semedo, so your defence is fine, your defence doesn't need to change, for me, the, 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 the two main areas that you need to change in this team, um, De Jong as a cam, I can just, ma I, I can just imagine right now wouldn't be a good experience, because he just doesn't have any pace, Sissoko isn't bad, but I think he said that if he sold someone as well, he, I think he said if he if he sold all the gold, he'd go up to 150k. I'd say keep Mane, keep Son, sell all your gold, and you get about 150k, and. 
I think for the... It's a bit of a hybrid, isn't it? So I'm just trying to see, like, who, who you could play, uh, replace Sissoko with and still get the chemistry. I mean, you could move Guardiola over to the position of Sissoko. And then where Sissoko is... I think I think you need another icon. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have got icon swap tokens left, eighty six right card would be good. Socrates would be good for De Jong. He's like eleven icon swap tokens. I don't know if you've used icon swap tokens to get that Guardiola card from the mid icon pack, or whether you've just bought them off the market. If you have just bought them off the market and you still got all your icon swap tokens left, um, then try to work towards like a prime icon, the Kata, or a Socrates, or a right card in position for for Sissoka. On the whole, it's a, you know it's a very good team. Like your two strikers, Son Griezmann, despite them only being the gold versions, are still very very effective for this stage of the game. In for Mane, great. Your defense all round is fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't change that at all. If you're gonna change anyone in your defense, it probably would be Robertson. Obviously, that wouldn't help the chemistry for Mane. But um, on the whole, again, it's a great team. Guardiola as an icon, actually, the 87 card is still usable at this stage of FIFA. So I don't think that's too bad on the whole. But yeah, uh, I'd like to know what you have in terms of icon subs there. And if you guys have any questions still after this video, you know, let me know on Instagram, let me know on Twitter, um, and all that good stuff. But that is the end of this video. It's been a very long video. It's over 20 minutes long, but uh, I had to go into a lot of detail for this because, you know, it's something that I wanted to do and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I, I don't know if it's going to do great for views or whatever, but, um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And anyway, guys, that is going to finish this video. So I'll see you guys later.